Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about using the quotient rule of exponents. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. Now, the first thing you should be thinking about is quotient. Well, quotient is division, so that's what we're, when we're going to apply this rule. And when we have exponents. So, let's see a quick example here. Let's say I have y to the ninth power and I want to divide that by y to the fifth power. Now, one thing to note that this rule can only work if the bases are the same. Now, both bases are y, right? That's the y here, y there, so we are good. So let's expand this. y to the ninth power is y times itself nine times. So we have y times y times y times y that's 4 times y, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're good. On the denominator, y to the fifth power is y times itself 5 times. y, 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 and y. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So now we've expanded this, we know hopefully, that we can start crossing out the ones that, you know, to match up, right? So y divided by y cancels, another one cancels, another one cancels, another one cancels, and another one cancels. So we're left with, in the numerator, y times y times y times y. And in the denominator, nothing, but we don't write zero, we write one, right? Because remember, y divided by y is 1, 1 over 1 essentially there. Well, this simplifies. We don't really need to have dividing by 1. So the numerator is just y times y times y times y, which is y to the fourth power. So how does this apply really to, well, the quotient rule? The quotient rule tells us this, okay? Given the same base, we can have a to the m power over a to the n power, the same base with division there, what we can do is just write this as a to the m minus n power. Okay? And that's our quotient rule really in a nutshell, which makes sense, right? 9 minus 5 is 4, and we had y to the fourth power. Okay? Now they state this is for any real number a and natural numbers m and n such that m has to be greater than n. The quotient rule of exponents states this, okay? So note that m has to be greater than n. So let's go through some examples here, okay? The first one, we have negative 2 to the 14th power over negative 2 to the 9th power. Now notice that they have the same base, negative 2. So we can apply the quotient rule here. Well, that's just negative 2 to the, well, 14 minus 9 power. And 14 minus 9 is just 5. So we have negative 2 to the 5th power. And that's all we're simplifying here. Of course, if we wanted to multiply that, we could. But we're just showing how the quotient rule applies. Let's try another example. B, we have t to the 23rd power over t to the 15th power, okay? Well, again, quotient rule, we subtract the exponents, right? The bases are the same, so we're good there. And so we have t to the 23rd minus 15. Well, 23 minus 15 is 8, so we have t to the 8th eight, eight power. That's a very simplified answer. Lastly, this one's a little tricky, so I'll put it over here. We have this one, z times the square root of 2 to the 5th power over z times the square root of 2, okay? So this one, again, a little tricky here. Our base, really, I didn't put parentheses around it, but we can, is that z times square root of 2. That whole thing can be a base, and this is really like to the 1st power, right? So... Applying the quotient rule, right, this is still a base, z times square root of 2. We have z times the square root of 2 as our base, subtract the exponents, 
5 minus 1. And 5 minus 1 is 4, right? So our answer here is z times the square root of 2 to the fourth power. And there is our simplified um, answer using the quotient rule. So again, if you like this video and it helped you learn, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That lets YouTube know that um, people like our videos and we can keep making more. And as always, thanks for watching. Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com